Patients were told in the past that when they were diagnosed with neuropathy, it was a lifelong condition. Nothing could be done for it. You could take medications to help control the symptoms. Neuropathic pain or nerve pain from a problem with nerves of your legs is a tingling type feeling. Sometimes it's like pins and needles or it's sometimes that you feel like you're uh, uh, walking on broken glass when you walk around the house barefoot and those are that can be very painful. These symptoms would remain present with all the drugs that we would give the patient and when they had pain with all the pain medications, even narcotics, they would still have it. When you treat neuropathy generically with psychotropic medications, medications that trick the brain into not thinking about the symptoms, you're not doing anything to treat the cause of the neuropathy. Years ago, I, I became uh, convinced that neuropathy was a symptom of poor circulation. The blood vessels in the toes are the smallest in the body. They're the ones that get clogged up with cholesterol, with lipids, with fat, and get inflammation from high blood sugar, which causes them to close down, and then it progresses up the foot into the leg. Most of the patients are pretty frustrated because when they start talking to their friends with neuropathy, they realize that uh, it's not a really optimistic um, future. They're gonna have continuing pain the pain will get worse and this will be a progressive situation. But Dr. Zhang and his colleagues have um, opened up the eyes in a lot of these patients who have uh, been told nothing can be done. I worked with uh, an imaging center and with their invasive radiologists to have them formulate a mechanism for me to get an angiogram from the knee down to and including the toes. Where we look at the circulation, particularly in the smaller arteries going down the ankle and in the foot, where we can see in fact there's some disease present. And then we evaluate that and if indeed there is something that, that can be done or needs to be done, then we refer the patient to an endovascular cardiac specialist with experience in dealing with recanalization, which is opening up the clogged blood vessels below the knee and into the foot. For patients with true blockage though, we'll thread a, a wire, a specialized wire that is really small that goes across the blockage and we'll either go down there with a laser or a special kind of balloon that's got steel reinforcement or we'll use an atherectomy or rotor-rooter device to clean out the artery, and that uh, will allow to get much better blood flow to the smaller arteries to the feet. Once you reestablish blood flow, you reestablish oxygen supply, you reestablish nutrient supply. What's great about it is that right after the procedure, within a day or two, you can start walking and exercising. And by increasing the blood flow, and by walking, you're gonna improve the circulation on your own in many cases, it's, uh, you know, patient heal themselves. You're going to really improve your circulation, improve your ability to exercise. There is something that they can do rather than being told, take these pills for the rest of your life. If they're not strong enough, we'll give you narcotics. If that's not strong enough, we'll give you combinations of medications. When we've opened up the blockage, the response has been dramatic. In many cases, the pain will go away completely or definitely be improved. And again, in combination with exercise and making sure you watch uh, what food you're eating or on the right medications and so forth, uh, there can be a dramatic improvement of something that has been thought to be just no cure, no way to get any better. It's only progressively gonna spiral down and get worse and worse. Now, there's hope. There's light at the end of the tunnel.